This table shows the number of survey objects who have received and not received a speeding ticket in the last year and the color of their car. Find the probability that a randomly chosen person, A, has a red car and got a speeding ticket, B, has a red car or got a speeding ticket. Let's learn. The key thing here is going to be the difference between and and or. Okay? So we can see from our table there's a total of 665 people surveyed. That's going to be our denominator here. So 665, that's our total here. The first question said, has a red car and got a speeding ticket. So if we look at the column of speeding ticket and we see the ones that got a speeding ticket and a red car, that's that intersection here. So we have a speeding ticket and red. That is a total of 15. So we have 15 people out of 665 got a red car and a speeding ticket. And if we simplify that, we get a 0 0.0226. So the probability of having a red car and a speeding ticket, combining them both, is 15 out of 665, or approximately 0 0.0226. Let's look at part B now. Probability that it has a red car or got a speeding ticket. Our total here is still the same, and that's going to be our... 665 people. We need a red car or a speeding ticket. Okay? And that's going to be an interesting combo. If we look at our col column here, we have this number of speeding tickets, and then the row is the number of red cars. Red car was 150, plus the total number of people who got a speeding ticket is 60. But if you notice in there, we double counted the combo of red car and a speeding ticket, right? That's in that 60. So we need to subtract that 15, the 15 people who were double counted here. So we have minus a 15. So if we simplify that, 150 plus 160 is, uh, was it 210? Minus a 15 is a 195. So 195 out of 60, 665 here. And that comes out to be, well, I left it as such, but I can use my calculator here to get that decimal here. And so we have 195 divided by 665, and that's approximately 0 0.2932. So that's a probability that they had a red car or had a speeding ticket. I hope you learned something here, and as always, thanks for watching.